Hello again everyone! Today we're going to be going over how to paint a flaming baseball or soccer ball. This one's really popular with boys, so let's get started! To make your fire baseball slash soccer ball, you're only going to need your wolf or diamond effects black and white, a little bit of blue, and also your fire cake. So I made this one myself. It's got yellow, red, and black in it, but anyone with just yellow and red will do. And to start off with, you're gonna use your filbert brush. You're gonna fully load that up with white, just like that. And usually when I do this on an arm, I'll do the ball here and make the flames go up the forearm. But today, since I'm doing it on myself, I'm gonna do the ball right here and do the flames coming up. So you're gonna make your ball shape. And it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. You can make it slightly elongated too, so it's a little bit of an oval. And that makes it look like it's being thrown really fast. But a circle works too. So there you have your base for your ball. Now you're gonna take the same filbert brush that you were just using, and you're gonna load it up with a little bit of blue on the tip. So even though it's still got white on it, you just add a little bit of blue. That's going to blend really nicely for us and create our shadow. And you're just going to follow this bottom edge right there. Give it a little highlight of blue. Or a little low light, rather, shadow. All right, and now you're going to make your fire. This is the really fun part. You're going to take your one inch flat brush and you're going to load that up with your fire cake. And the one thing to be careful of is to make sure you don't get too much black. You wanna try and keep that black all the way, just the last couple hairs on your brush there. Because if you are moved all the way over here when you load it, it's gonna be just too much black. It's gonna, it's gonna cover all of your nice bright colors. So once you have your brush loaded, you're going to start on this edge of the ball over here. And the thing about this is if you drag it in a perfectly straight line up like that, you're going to move your black, it's gonna smudge into your yellow, and it's gonna muddy the whole thing up. So you're gonna need to start a little bit of an angle right here. So put it at a little bit of an angle, and everybody has their own rhythm with this, just find which one works for you, but it's basically just making S's and J shapes. So I start and I come up like this, make a little bit of a wiggle. That's your first shape. Then you're gonna come back down, make a J and wiggle it at the top a little bit. Come right back down, make another J. And once more like that. So that is your basic fire shape. I usually add one more in here too, to give it some depth. And now what you can do is you can either use the edge of your brush Mine's a little dry, so I'm gonna reload it. You can use the edge of your brush to fill in these extra yellow parts, or you can use a brush that you fully devote to yellow. That's just solid yellow. I usually use a filbert if I do that method. And I just go back in here and I fill in all those yellow shapes. You can kind of flick it down onto the ball. Sometimes doing it with the filbert's a little faster because you don't have to be so careful. All right, so you have your fire there. And now you're gonna outline your ball. We're gonna do a baseball for the first one, and then I'm gonna show you how to do a soccer ball separately. So you're just gonna outline your ball here with your black. I use a number four round brush. And it doesn't have to go all the way around the ball because the fire is kind of consuming it on that side. All right, and so then to make the laces on your baseball, it's not just a C and a backward C. It's actually a little bit more of a, gosh, I'm not sure what shape you'd call that. It's like a hump, it's like a hill <laughs> if you do it like that. And then once more on the other side. All right, so then you have those nice shapes there. And the very last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, another small, I use a very small little liner brush right there, and you're gonna dip the whole thing in red. So you can either go right back into your cake right here to do that, or you can pull out your red, solid red, and just pull in. So instead of going straight across for your laces, you wanna do two 
strokes inward so that it's stitched together. Just like that. That's a little more realistic than just having a line across it. And it's pretty fast too. You just follow that all the way around, pulling into the center there, and you've got your laces. The very last thing that I do is I take my white on my little liner brush here, and I just add a few dots. I call them smoke dots, like that. And there you go, you have a super cool baseball just like that, looking good. Okay, so if you wanted to make a soccer ball instead of a baseball, it's really easy as well. I'm not gonna re-show you the flames, I'm just gonna show you the soccer ball technique. This one took me a long time to figure out, but I had some help with it, and now I'm helping you. So, to start off with your soccer ball, you're, all you're gonna do is make a, you're gonna take your black, and you're gonna make a star, like a pentagram. Right in the middle. And you're gonna connect those edges, just like that, and fill it in. That way you have the right soccer shape. From here, the, all these points that you see, you're gonna draw a line straight out from those, from those corners, just like that. Step two. Now I like to do the outline around it really quick. I'm gonna outline this whole thing just because we don't have the fire on it this time. All right, so you have your soccer ball shape. And then to finish it off, you're just gonna make a triangle at the end of each of those lines. So you're just gonna put a little triangle at the end of that one. One more over here. One more. Just like that. All right, and you can be done right there, and then you would just add whatever you wanna do. You can do sparkles or little stars around it, but there is your basic soccer ball shape. Makes it a lot easier than trying to draw all those individual ones if you just have to draw one. So, hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this flaming baseball soccer ball tutorial. It's really popular with boys. So if you like this one, make sure you comment or subscribe and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Thanks and see you next time.